And one thing I also want to kind of mention about the pith phrases, and this applies to the longer phrases too, but it's especially relevant with the pith, is that um, there seem to be two ways that the pith can be expressed um, from, from what I can tell. One is as a kind of aspiration. So it's like, may you be happy. And there's a sense of aspiring or wishing that to be true. Um, happy. And then there's another way that the pith can be experienced, which is as a realization. So sometimes it's not just that we're wishing this to be true, but we actually are feeling that it is true. And, um, and not just feeling that it's true that there is happiness, but also feeling the sort of blurring or even dissolution of the boundaries between self and other so that it's a natural kind of outpouring or outflowing of this transpersonal happiness or healthiness or well-being or open-heartedness. And we're just giving voice to it. It's like we're just expressing it. Um, and so either one of those um, expressions of the aspiration or the realization are totally fine. It's not that you have to be in one or the other. Sometimes we are realizing it and sometimes we're aspiring toward it. Um, but it's rather just to notice that what those two are like and how it feels um, when you're in either of those modes.